What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Anita's Join. Hashtag Ascended Joint, where every day is payday, baby. As you can see, here I am. I just recorded uh, the Serie A League AS Roma versus Palmeiras. Palmeiras, Palmeiras, <laughs> and I apparently did not record my audio. So I did record the game audio, but it didn't pick up my audio, my commentary, like you usually do. So what I'm going to do, I'm still going to upload the match of, of course, you know, me and the game, but you'll just hear the game audio. You won't hear my audio, but I'm just going to give you a quick recap on what I saw with AS Roma and Palmegiano. It was a great match. Honestly, I was super pumped for this game. Um, let me go ahead and just, uh, where are we at right here? Play a little bit of this. Let me turn off the audio because you're going to be able to hear it. And yeah, I was, I was coming through. I was, you, you, I was, you know, of course saying my whole thing, but, um, we're going to watch a little bit of the match. Let me see. Let's get to the 10th minute here. We're going to do a recap real quick because your girl forgot to, um, so the first goal was in the 21st minute. So let's speed up here. Oh, oh, fa too fast, too fast. Let's see. I think y'all can probably hear the old boys audio real quick. Inviting the contact. This match was a good match. Uh, I was excited to see this game. And I had a great commentary. I just I can't believe I... This was a penalty, y'all. It was a penalty given to Pomigliano. Um, and it, at the last angle, the last angle that they had showed us, it ended up... looked like the girl had touched it. It looked like the girl had touched it. And if you watch the commentary, you'll be able to watch it and see as well. But this game had lots of goals. Okay, so it wasn't this angle. Yeah, like right here. She, even though she did jump forward a lot, um, like she had like a little spring in her step. <clears throat> it still was a great goal. I mean, a great uh p penalty kick. It was a great finish. And uh, Roma capitalized immediately. Not immediately, but soon after. And um, it was a good goal. It was a good goal, I have to say. So let's get up here. It was, a, it was a, around the 24th minute. Let's see. Oh, too, too far back. I think here it is right here. Roma gets the ball out wide here. And it took a deflection. This one took a deflection. Unfortunate. Game after only three minutes behind. And unfortunately, it took a, a, a quite def a, a deflection, and ended up in the back of the net. And I remember number 15, and I was telling, um, during, well, yeah, I was just saying number 15 was someone I remember watching. I only watched a couple matches with Roma, and probably this was the second one. You know, just uh, the deflection, unfortunately, was a great one for Roma's case, and it went in the back of the net. Setorini lining it up, the deviation taking it out of so that was 1-1 okay so we fast forward to about almost the second half about almost the second half it was in stoppage time we see the she was in a good position did you see her i'm assuming we right here here it is we're looking at number 18 she got wide real nice real well and she ended up putting a ferocious cross in. We're not there yet. We're still looking at some other plays right here. I think it should be coming through on this side. Goal kick. <clears throat> right here is 3v3. You see, you see, it was like 3v3, and then uh, number 18, she cut it back, and then Andresa had it, and number 18 again. 
she had all that space. She she hit the ball and the goalkeeper saved it. But I think her name was Havani. Roma, they have Hava turned this Havani. Game on its head, right on the stroke of half time. The she ended up scoring the goal. The some of the audio. Through new That's some of the audio on. Another goal for and that was the North. that was the start that was the end of the first half. You see, it's three v three. You you see almost three v four. You see the four Roma players on top. Uh, yeah. So this was bound to cause some chaos. And I enjoy watching the counter attacks. I enjoy to I enjoy teams that can get the numeral advantage. You know. All right, so that was the first half, right? So we fast forward to the second half. Here I am. Look, look at me. I'm over. I'm over here. Talk. Oh, I don't say. You can hear. You see me. You can't even. You can't. I wasn't. I wasn't talking at all. I mean, my audio didn't come through at all. Uh, just, I just couldn't believe it. Okay, so this was the super sub. The sub had just came on the pitch. Number 11, she had just came on. And turn Laura, Lorna. Pomigliano, as De La finds it herself, ended up one getting one it past the goalkeeper. I felt like the goalkeeper could have done better, but... Incredible start hey. to the second half. Pomigliano hey. with the equalizer and another goal for Tori De La Peruta. Bagging the winner against Empoli in the last game and scoring one that score ended up being their goal having only just come on 2-2 two, two. and Pomigliano didn't score anymore after this, this. Game, it was the Roma show after this uh she's turned her and she had press legs smart piece of movement shifting her body weight to I just thought exactly the goalkeeper was going to do better. I think she was indecisive, and maybe she did give up a lot of that space on the left. I guess if you, depending on how you look at it, she did give up a lot of space. So let's fast forward. It was the uh, 57 minute again. Uh, yeah, it was about the 57th minute. This this goal, this next goal that you're about to see was my favorite goal of the match. And uh, let me know in the comment section what what goal was your favorite goal to watch. Um, they all were great. I mean, well, yeah, this was my favorite goal right here. So the subs are coming on. But before that, number 11, she has a, good, a lot of space, too. This move will play out with Ove. Ooh, what a stealthy finish right there. It's very sexy. In space. Very good finish from her. Low underneath good finish from her. I enjoyed watching that one. Like she curled it real nicely around her. The goalkeeper. Very nice. I don't know if they're gonna give us one more replay. No, no. Okay, I, I didn't remember. But that was that ended up being three two. Even though the, the score sheet doesn't say it, uh, that ended up being three two. And there it is, right there. And then uh, the <clears throat> the fourth goal for Roma came in the seventieth minute. Here it is. And this was just great build-up play too as well. Um, again, we get to see who got this assist. Oh yeah, Halani. I think that's her name. Um, but hopefully, I'm saying it right. Havana, Havan, Havani. Anyway, anyways, she gets herself out wide. Number 18 here. No, number 11 here. And a good through ball for number 10. And Lorazo was there to finish it very cleanly. In the middle of the box. Goalkeeper really couldn't do anything about that one. And it was I like that finish as well. It was very clean cut. Clean cut. 
And, and I was just, and I just wish, and I was just saying too, when I was doing the commentary, I was like, yeah, you know, so let's see if Roma are going to push their lead or if, uh, uh, from the Giano, they're going to get a goal back. But right after that, they ended up scoring and it was, it was settled Two goal cushion. It was a good through ball as well. She was there in the middle of the box. Razzle. She wasn't done scoring for Roma either. The next goal came a couple minutes after. Yeah, this was very nice. Andresa finds Lorazo again. Cut the middle of the back, back line. Very good finish. And that ended up being the match for 5-2. Uh, that ended up being uh, the final. I think we're going to get one more, one more replay of it. And then did that take a deflection? Let me see. Let me see. It looked like that. Mana took a deflection on that last replay. Man, it's crazy how you get to see certain things. Let me see. One more time. Because it took a deflection. Like right when he went through and it cut through in the back. When it got back to her. <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't pick that up. Let's see. Come on. Let's watch. Yes, it did. Did you see it? It took a deflection right to her. Oh, that's that that hurts. That hurts. Yes, you didn't see it in that angle, but the the other one I just showed you, it, it took a deflection. It, it it went right to her. Here it is again. It's gonna take a deflection. Yes, number twenty eight. Number 28's touch led it right to her. Oh, brutal. That's brutal, fam. That's brutal. But that ended up being the match, right? Let's fast forward. Yes. And I was going. I was going in, but you couldn't hear anything I was saying. I was giving you some of the statistics. It was like 24 shots. Um, Roma, 8 from Giano. Uh, 13 on target for Roma. Um, three and the statistics i mean 68 percentage for roma and 32 for pomigiano but uh at the end of the day i mean i was kind of salty uh because when i was when i went back to the recording i was like yo are you really kidding me i didn't record myself anyways i, I still i still didn't i still wanted to upload the video i still wanted to give you my recap on the match because it was a great match and um yeah it was it was a great it was a great match and i just wanted to share and i wanted to just you know still put my heart my work out there but once again i want to thank everyone oh also let me know what was your favorite goal okay let, let me know what was your favorite goal uh mine was uh the the second goal in the first in the second goal in the second half uh number 11 goal, and i gave her the woman the match she ended up having two goals and one assist uh number 11 but um once again thank you all for tuning in to so Anita's joint hashtag send the joint every day is payday baby it's your girl Anita flying high flying out of this third dimensional reality and i'll see you on the next one. deuces